Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Guys, one of the dumbest things that I hear on YouTube is the following. Somebody talking smack to somebody else about an opinion they have and they say, go ahead, sue me. <laughs> Before I get started, this is not financial legal advice. This is for your entertainment only. Guys, why is it, why is it that the old man cringe community has so many of these? Okay. Don't say no. You know they're part of the old man cringe community. And who are they? Well, they're, they're two gentlemen that are very, uh, very involved in legal battles right now. And I really have to pick my words here, guys. Oh, man. There's a couple of journalists out there that are embroiled in legal ba battles as well as Twin Galaxies. And let me tell you. There's a limit to everything. Every time that I hear a YouTuber say, I talked to my lawyer already. No, you didn't. Because most lawyers tell you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, a lot of people think that uh, going to court and prevailing in court is like prevailing in, in an argument. Because you think you're right or you think you have the facts really has nothing to do with anything. Usually the person with the most resources comes out ahead, you know. Now, if you're both an equal footing, you know, financially, then you're okay, right? But you're not <laughs> sometimes. And that can really swing the balances of justice. You know what I mean? So what can I say about these gentlemen that hasn't been said already and uh, people not <laughs> be involved in legal battles? Well, I can tell you this, if a picture was worth a thousand words. Let me show you this here. Let me show you this here. <laughs> Buy my book. <laughs> oh, Mr. Todd here, Todd Rogers, is a fan of having high scores. And in my opinion, my humble opinion, one of the worst sense of fashions in all of gaming. And uh, you would have a hard time to picking... Uh, you can go to my poll and vote, guys. If you had to go back in time uh, and one of these guys had to be your stepdad, who would it be? Brett Weiss or Todd Rogers? Or there's an option three there. You can go Van Halen on it. <laughs> but yeah, he's involved in, in uh, litigation, Todd Rogers is. And so is Billy Mitchell. That's right. The man that looks like he's in a soft rock band from the from 1980 to 1981. Remember the bass players always dress this way? And that's all I'm going to say. I have no opinions in any legal matter regarding these two gentlemen because I am not familiar with the cases and I'm not a lawyer, so I really can't give you any insights on what the cases are about. But what I can do is warn you about things that could happen that have happened, right? Uh, and let's say you you think that you're a journalist, for example, or you're, I don't know, you are a journalist, or you do, do it for fun, whatever, right? And that's the, the career you want to pursue. And you start making videos on YouTube about what you think, you know, your opinion of a certain person is. Well, I mean, if you're talking smack within a community, okay, most of it goes... Uh, and notice no one cares but you never know who's on the other side of the microphone or the other side of your camera right and somebody with enough resources can sue you into silence right they really really can and what do i mean by that well let's say, let's say you criticize somebody that has a lot more assets than you do right that's financially well off they can pay a lawyer to keep going to court and going to court and going to court. And let's say you're a, a person of just, you know, limited resources and you have a job, right? And that's how you support yourself. Do you have the resources to have a long, prolonged, um, you know, court battle, right? Jobs is going through right now with, uh, I believe, Mitchell, right? His uh, legal fees are over $100,000, plus the time you have to take off. If you're a regular Joe, it's very hard for you to do that, right? That's why you have to be careful that you criticize facts 
Yeah, even, even then, you still have to be careful. Or things that are, you know, quite obvious in case it ever does get to that. Somebody just says, wait a minute, you know, you said his hair was pink. And it is pink. And the judge can see that, right? Again, not financial or legal advice. Just making you think, right? Because it could happen that you're in a legal battle with somebody that has unlimited resources, right? And they're able to send you the court over and over and over and over again. And you have to take these time, these days off. And maybe you have to travel. You don't know. You don't know what the ramifications of your free speech are. Because <laughs> it is free speech, but, you know, it's an opinion. But it can't uh, cross over to defamation. And I'm not, again, not talking about these cases. I don't know what's going on here, nor do I care to know. The only things of interest to me is, number one, is why the old man cringe community produces people that dress like this. <laughs> I don't know. It's a mystery. Is it midlife crisis? I don't know. I don't know. And number two is why people feel the need to go over and above sometimes and say and tell people, hey, go ahead and sue me. That is not a smart idea. Please consult a legal expert before making any legal claims, before crossing any lines. If that's the type of content you want to make, go right ahead. But there are consequences, right? There could be legal consequences depending on what you're covering. And at some point, you may not have the resources to fight it. That doesn't mean you're not right. right? That doesn't mean that you're in the wrong it means that you can't afford a good lawyer for a long period of time and you can't afford to, to quit working just to go fight over a YouTube argument. So eventually a lot of these suits get settled because one of the parties just gets worn down and it really is whoever has the most amount of money. And if they have unlimited funds, I suggest you be careful, right? And you really do your research before you start talking about people that to just sue you into oblivion, right? If you want to talk about documents, if you want to talk about things that are caught on, you know, camera or things, you know, usually you're safe. Again, it's not legal advice, but you never know these days. You never know. You never know that the, a, a court is going to file in your favor. The best thing to do is know what realm you're delving in, right? And specifically when it comes to to famous people or people that have something to lose, right? Something to lose uh, if they are defamed, you really have to be careful. And I'll give you an example, right? Artificial intelligence right now, uh, it's being censored of saying negative things, even if they are public, right? Because the creators of the AI don't want to be responsible for any negative things that this AI comes up with on anybody, Right? AI can give you an opinion on whatever, but if it's a public opinion, if it's not a, like a private server, let's say you're just doing it on the internet, they have to censor that because even though it might be accurate, it could be defamatory in some way. Somebody might think, I don't know, but can you imagine programming something and then getting sued for the, the opinion of the artificial intelligence? <laughs> it's just crazy, man. You know, remember, YouTube is a business. It is. And for some people, it's serious business. Their brands, what they do for a living, really matters to them. And it matters to the point they will sue the living hell out of you if they feel you cross the line. So, with that said, be careful, right? And always, and I mean always, consult a legal professional before you start talking about somebody that might have something to lose by you stating your opinions. Guys, I will catch you on the next one. If you enjoy this type of video, if you enjoy this type of content, you have to ring the bell because you never know when I'm going to put these out. You know, usually when my wife goes out, like right now, I write something down and then I shoot the video right away. <laughs> I only have seven hours, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.